Lee Feeney, Pied Piper of Cup Final Lunatics. So the Golden Shell, he was at Rangers when he was younger and they get to the Cup Final 2000, it was against Aberdeen, beat them 4-0. So Fino goes to the pub, he doesn't even go to the match, gives us two complimentary tickets away. So just before the game, you see Sky, they're just panning across all the directors, all sitting there with their shirts and ties and all on, and then you see these two grinders like out there, mm, uh, with two Mount Vernon UDA jackets on, third battalion tattooed across his head, and a wee man in the arm beside him, he had a big massive ring with Budgie sitting in it. Pulled him in on Monday morning, he was fined two weeks wages for getting his tickets away. Oh, the golden shade. So, when we were at Newry, we get invited, all expenses paid, to go over to Holland to play this charity match. Uh, they do it every year. Guy Jerry Cassidy called me and uh, boys are looked after superbly. So, after the match, hadn't even had a beer yet, all the boys were up at the bar, just about the order, and one of the directors of the club we played came over and says, right, look, I'm going to put a shop around. He looks after them the whole night. Make sure nothing happens. Last year, Dungan and were over, and it was only two players arrested, so it was very successful. I says, mate, look, you haven't seen the lunatics. I have Sean Friars, Colin Feeney, Lee Feeney, Wayne Brown, God rest him, Andy Coleman, Mickey Collins, all rockets, right? So, I, I Minto and Trigger said to me, who are you putting in charge of them? I says, I have the perfect idea, Fino. He says, what? Fino's never even in charge of putting, turn the lights out, the living room lights, never mind in charge of a football team. I says, I'm telling you, it'll work. Mental shit, Jerry, you've lost a plot. He says, honestly, there'll be 10 arrests. So calls Lee over. I says, Lee, in a word, he says, what have I done? We haven't even had a drink yet. He says, relax, don't be worrying. I says, see, tonight, you're in charge. All the boys have to be back in the hotel for two o'clock. See, if they're not, honestly, Lee, you're going to let me down. He turns white, starts shake, shaking, walks over. He must have told all the boys. I just heard a big laugh there. He says, there's no way Jerry would have put uh, Lee in charge of anything. So anyway, did out to go. Um, two o'clock, me and Trigger and Mentor were sitting in the hotel. Um, one minute to two, you just see them all. It was like a paid paper just walking into the hotel, all chuffed with himself like that. Oh, what about that? He thought that me, Trigger and Mento were all going to go for a drink after that once he got everybody to bed. So I goes up and I uh, I comes back down the stairs again just to make a check. Wayne Brown was trying to steal a big three foot bottle of uh, champagne. I says, Wayne, that's bucking water, isn't it? Oh, brilliant.